Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are potentially seeing the beginning of a Liverpool future without Mohamed Salah. We are inching closer and closer to the onslaught era of Liverpool Football Club. And with that, there are continuous questions over how are we going to play? Who are we going to sign? Who are we going to sell? And one player who's dominating the latter part of that conversation is Mohamed Salah, who will undoubtedly go down as one of the greatest ever players in not only Liverpool history, but Premier League history. He's in conversations around the best start at 11, the best winger, the best ever Liverpool player who, you know, he's dominated the English landscape for years. So why are we having this discussion here today? Well, following Liverpool's 2 all draw against West Ham, I think it's pretty obvious why uh, the draw, which essentially ended Liverpool's title hopes at the London Stadium, came with more backlash than we would have liked. It wasn't so much focused on the team capitulating and losing out on the title. It came out when Mohamed Salah and Jurgen Klopp were videoed having a disagreement on the touchline, about which we don't know. However, people have thrown speculations around left, right and centre that it was due to Mohamed Salah's late introduction. He wasn't brought on the pitch until the 79th minute when, let's be honest, usually Mo Salah is the one starting games. Others have said it may be down to the tactics in recent matches. Other people have said it's because of the handshake that he put out to Jurgen Klopp. We just don't know. One thing we do know when he was asked about it is that Klopp said in the dressing room, we spoke already in the dressing room, for me, that's done, which sounds all good in theory. But when you leave in the training ground and Mo Salah says, if I speak today, there will be fire. Not exactly sure what he means by this, but nothing has come out since. And I don't think we're going to hear anything until Salah releases a book in the future, similar to the way Firmino did when he touched on the Mane and Salah spat in 2019 against Burnley. So the big question now is, do Liverpool sell Mohamed Salah and why should they? Well, for a start, the big one, Jurgen Klopp is leaving. We all know this. And Jurgen Klopp was the best man at getting the best out of Mohamed Salah. He's literally adapted the entire way the team plays to benefit Mohamed Salah's ability. And in the past, it's worked massively. But recently, it just seems like more and more of a hindrance than anything. It's pretty clear to not just myself, but to a lot of fans that Salah has slowed down big time this season. He just seems less willing to pick up the ball and run with it and actually try and get in behind opposition defences, whether that's down to tactics against us specifically. Maybe it's just he just can't do it anymore. We don't know. He's naturally slower, which happens. I mean, he's 32 years old soon, and that does naturally happen. But he's been running his heart out for seven years under Jurgen Klopp. So would he be willing to do that under a new manager like Arne Sloth, who's been described as full throttle football, a man whose side is built about winning the ball back in the final third of the pitch more than anyone? I don't think so. Klopp's new style of play seems to have Salah coming deeper, providing options for other players like Nunez, Diaz, etc. But under Arne Sloth, he's going to be expected to press and press from the front, and that probably isn't going to happen. Klopp saw what Salah could do more than any other manager could and what he's capable of but he isn't going to change the entire way a team plays uh, when he comes in on slot he's not going to adapt everyone to the way that Salah wants to play in the same way that Klopp has I'm not saying he's the focal point of the whole team but it's evident the way we play the slow build up the ball over the top to Salah just so he can put it across the box the Salah comes deep to Trent not trying to run him behind anymore so that he can put a ball into the box on his left foot it's, it's evident to see and a new manager in Arnslot is probably not going to cater to that and as I said before Salah's 32 soon he's got one year left on his contract Liverpool are not going to sign Salah down to a new contract till he's what 35 36 that's not the way that things operate to be honest as happy as we are and were we didn't expect him to sign the last contract deal because it'd take him to 33 years old which at the time was a shock with teams from saudi or wherever willing to pay top money for his services the club are probably going to sell. Not only that, but we've seen in the past how successful it can be. The sales of Fernando Torres in 2010, Suarez in 23, uh, 2014, Coutinho back when he left for Barcelona. And we used the money to invest in Van Dijk, Fabinho, Allison. All these players came through. You have to sell money, sell players to make money, and the money then gets used to buy players. That's the way the FSG models always operated. It's sustainable. They're not going to change that because a new manager's coming in. The new manager's going to have to adapt to that. 
Onslaught is going to need every advantage possible to hit the ground running at this huge club. And if he doesn't fancy the Onslaught system, Mo Salah, he's going to want to leave. And if he wants to leave, it's a win-win-win for everyone. Onslaught's going to get plenty of money to reinvest into the squad, the players that he needs. Salah is getting to make a move that he wants. Let's face it, he's not going to go to a European giant. He's not going to go to a Real Madrid or a Barcelona, potentially. He's going to go to Saudi. That's the big probable answer he is getting to that age now and he is going to have to start winding down his career unfortunately because he's still talented and it's a win for the board who offloading your most expensive player in terms of wages and bonuses to earn over a hundred million pounds that you can throw at the new manager and say buy who you want it's a win-win-win for everyone and I see it happening. As unfortunate as it is, and it sounds disrespectful to Salah, a player who is our fifth highest ever goal scorer, our highest ever Champions League goal scorer. He's broke record after record after record. The time just feels right to sell him. It's disappointing. He's one of the best players to have ever blessed this league and to have blessed Liverpool Football Club. But 32 years old in June, new manager coming in who wants to play an attack-minded sense of football and Salah who for all he's still talented has dried up recently his only goals have been penalties and it's just becoming more of a hindrance than anything when he plays bad the team plays bad Darwin earlier on in the season was thriving off of Mo Salah's creativity Salah couldn't physically match what he used to be able to do so he had Nunez to do it for him Nunez was the one making the darting runs in behind Salah was creating the chances for him and vice versa now with Salah playing the way he is the balls aren't going to Nunez and Nunez finishing the way he is is missing all the chances that he does get created for him. So it's just been a domino effect of bad player, bad player, bad player, bad performance, bad performance, bad performance. It's been dreadful to see. And Salah has dipped massively since coming back from the AFCON this year. And we saw that a few years ago when he came back from the AFCON in the quadruple going four season, whatever you want to call it. He dipped when he came back and he's gone to AFCON again. He's came back and he's dipped again and... The Brentford game was a bit of a false dawn. He thought he was back. He's back to his best. And then since then, he really has just plateaued. And it's a shame to see. And Salah is one of those players that anyone would be lucky to have in their team. You know, you look at his stats from the Premier League, the amount of goals he scored and the amount of assists. You know, he's he's a world-class talent who is underappreciated in this team. In 260 Premier League games, he's got 156 goals and 68 assists. But the problem is fans only remember what's in front of them. They only remember recent history. He's had a bad few games, bad player. He ends his career world-class, greatest of all time. Salah is phenomenal and has been for years. But he's of the Liverpool team gone. Of the Liverpool 1.0, the Mane, Firmino, Henderson, Wijnaldums, Milners, you know, these players who are no longer part of this squad. And he doesn't fit into the Liverpool 2.0. It's a new team. It's a new team full of young energy players who want to run, players who want to work with the ball. And I'm not saying Salah's a bad worker at all. He's fantastic. But he can't keep up this intensity with the young lads coming through. Players like Harvey Elliott, who will run his heart out. Nunez, who does not stop moving. Soberslai, McAllister, Trent. So many young talents. Salas of a Liverpool team of the past. The, the original Jurgen Klopp team. We've tried to fit him into the Jurgen Klopp second team, the 2.0 edition. It's worked. But now that Klopp's leaving, he's not going to get into slots 1.0 team. And it's a shame to see but it's the facts, and as disappointing as we are, it probably is the right time to sell him. If a club comes in with 100 million plus pounds, Slot can invest it in this team, a team that was so rushed through the last summer transfer window because of all the departures. We had to sign Endo, McAllister, Sobosly, Gravenberg. All these players had to come in fast, and we had to hit the ground running, and we did, but we dipped off towards the end because we couldn't maintain it. Salah cannot maintain it. He's 32 soon cash in now and use the money to invest in the squad properly a full summer of investment training in this new system and let's see where we go next season because there's still stuff to fight for in the future under our slot but we can't go back and change the past and Salah recently has been awful let me know what you guys think in the comments down below would you be keeping Mo Salah or would you be selling him let me know why and I'll respond to every comment that comes through and also please make sure to hit subscribe 
500 by the end of next month is the aim, which is unbelievable to say, really. But yeah, please make sure to hit like and subscribe, and I will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much.